Sterling K. Brown, most notably known for his role as Randall in This Is Us, now set to star in the upcoming movie, The Defender. Brown will portray Scipio Africanus Jones, the self-taught Little Rock attorney who defended a dozen men wrongfully convicted of murder in the wake of the 1919 Elaine massacre sentenced to death by an all-white jury. Scipio Jones is an American hero. Almost four years after their sentencing, the U.S. Supreme Court determined the defendants had not been given a fair trial, a right protected by the Constitution. And when they appeared in the courtroom again, this time represented by Scipio Jones, all of the condemned men would later walk free. It's really long overdue, but the beautiful part about it is it's going to give people an opportunity to really see what took place, um, how he was able to come in and really help get these 12 men uh, exonerated of murder, which was unheard of during that time. It's the case that made him a national legal figure, but Jones was well known for his contributions here in the historic Dunbar neighborhood long before that. You know, Scipio lived in several uh, locations here in um, the Dunbar Historic Neighborhood. Angel Burke, the executive director of the Neighborhood Association, took me to the house Jones lived in leading up to his death, a craftsman-style home here at the corner lot of Cross and West 19th Street in Little Rock. This home was really the home that he lived once he really became very established. And, um, as an attorney. As an attorney, okay. yes. The Dunbar Horace Mann Archives and Building Project Foundation is now working on rehabilitating the house, returning it to its former glory. He is such a, uh, an American icon, and he is valued uh, not only to this community, but also to the world. And what better way is to rehabilitate the home that he lived in, and especially in his last days. So today we honor the legal skill, the persistence, the bravery and the diplomacy of Scipio Africanus Jones. The impact of his work is very much still felt today. Just last week, Congressman French Hill joined several dignitaries and members of the community in a special ceremony to honor the civil rights giant. In 2020, the House passed H.R. 3317, the Scipio Jones Post Office Portrait Act, allowing a portrait of the attorney to be on display inside the Little Rock Post Office bearing his name. Two years after the bill passed, artist Wade Hampton unveiled the portrait of Scipio Jones. It shows the defining moment he walked out of the courthouse after the Elaine 12 were released from prison, depicting the culmination of his legal career. So I wanted to create a moment of that. The portrait is an honor given to very few people. According to the U.S. Postal Service, of more than 31,000 retail offices, fewer than 900 are dedicated in honor of a person. And Jones is only one of 14 individuals in the state of Arkansas to have received this distinction, a tribute to Jones's legacy that will forever be remembered in the great state of Arkansas. Oh, it makes me feel so proud. Uh, it really, it gives you a very uh, proud feeling. It makes me value the community more that I live in. It gives me uh, the power to want to do more, to bring an awareness to people like Scipio Jones.